Hi, and welcome back to more SketchUp Quick Tips. Today we're going to talk about using styles to make your model look a little better for your client. So here's a SketchUp model. I'm just working in um, a default construction documentation style. And, um, but now I want to show uh, a slightly better version of this to my client. So you can go to the work of going through a photo rendering process, but if you haven't bought one, don't know how to use it, or just plain old don't want to take the time, there's ways to make your model look a lot better uh, just using SketchUp itself. So first of all, make sure that when you are working on your model, and I have this Working View tab, that you're always using one of the default styles because it's quicker for SketchUp to compute as you're working um, through the model with just nice straight lines. However, then I have um, another tab with the shadow on. So in this tab, I still have this basic model style, but I've now turned on the shadows, and I'm also going to turn off these axes because I don't want that to be in my final image. So I'm going to go to View, Uncheck Axes, and now those weird green, red, and blue um, axes symbols are gone. Uh, to save the guide, I'm going to right click on that tab and say Update. I also have a Floor Plan tab up here and in that my ceiling is off so I can quickly go back to here if I need to make some changes. You can see that my model looks a little odd right now because I've destroyed everything that's outside of their scene. So um, when I'm also working on a render for this model, I want to get rid of everything that's not going to be rendered because the rendering machine is still going to take time to process that. So I'm back in my working view to try out some different styles. Um, that come with SketchUp first of all, and then we're going to look at some other styles that you can import to use. So styles are just a collection of ways that uh, the lines and the faces are displayed in your model. They don't change anything about uh, the internal structure of your model, just the way that it looks to the viewer on screen. So um, I went to Edit Styles, or Window Styles to get here. And at first I'm on the Select Default tab. You might be something like this or like this to start with. But when you go to the first drop down, first of all, like I talked about the default styles, and these are the styles they ask you to choose from from the beginning, is what you should always be working in. But um, there's also in this drop down some other options. Like if I go to Assorted Styles, um, I'm going to click on this chipboard with Fine Marker, and you can see how that changes how the model looks. Uh, there's also kind of interesting one, Style Builder Competition Winners. Um, some of these are a little outlandish though, so what I prefer to do is to start with this group called Sketchy Edges. And what this tries to do is emulate um, what it would look like if you were hand drawing this instead of using a computer. Some of them I think are way too um, wide and blotchy for our particular uses, so I tend to prefer the ones that are pen or fine line, fine marker. And then a lot of people see these and they're like, well, these are all really cool, but I want to see the colors and the textures in my model. And you can actually switch all of these sketchy edges to actually have color with them. So we're going to go from the Select tab next to the Edit tab. And probably the first one that opens up, if you haven't looked at these before, is this little box way in the left and it's called edge. And what that says is how are the edges or how are the lines displayed. So sometimes like I don't want all this extension because that's where the little lines cross and that makes um, your model a little messier. I might take that off. You can also change the level of detail. So if you look at some of the lines as I move it down, you obviously get rid of level of detail. We usually want quite a bit or the max that you can. So you can play with those a little bit. Uh, to change how the model looks, but more importantly for a discussion about bringing the materials back is we want to go to the next box over which is called Face Settings. So here you see um, that you have this little style box down here, and if you look this style box looks just like the style box um, that I work with in my toolset. If you don't have this you can go to View Toolbars and this is actually the Styles tab which can be useful when you're modeling just to speed up the process. So if you haven't looked at this before, you can see that right now, both here and in our Styles Edit tab, right now we just have the Hidden Line Model Style shown, which just means it shows the lines, nothing else. 
There's a little box over that has a little kind of stripe texture. If you hover over that, it says Display Shaded Using Textures. So that just means if I click on that, I'm going to get my textures and materials back, but I'm going to keep this line style that I chose before. And that's a much more interesting um, view to show your clients. And then from there, you might want to go and turn the shadows back on. And SketchUp's going to take a few minutes to think about that. Um, and this is a whole lot better than what we had before. So you can spend a lot of time playing around with all these different line styles. And when you have one that you like and you say, you know what, I want to save this style so I don't have to go through this process again, you can actually click this little plus button. And I'm going to call that, let's just call this demo style. Make sure I hit the update, make sure it's saved. And now I've saved this style that I can use in the future also. So I want to save this style for eternity. So I have it um, on my own computer folder, file folder system, which is actually then goes to Dropbox. So I can access this style from any of my computers. If I decide, importantly, to upgrade SketchUp, I have all my styles saved, and I can access them there also. So to do this, first of all, just go to your file navigation system first and make a folder for SketchUp styles, and that'll simplify the process. So first of all, there's this little drop-down box, and if you hit the plus thing here, you're now going to have um, two different select styles options open, and we need this because we're going to drag and drop a style from one to the second collection. So in the second collection, you probably are in default styles right now, but if you click this little fly out, it's going to say open or create a collection. And that's where you're going to find your SketchUp Styles folder. Say OK. Mine actually has stuff in it already. Yours um, will probably be empty. And then I'm going to go up to my Select tab here. And let's just go to In Model. And here's that demo style that we created. So all I have to do to save this is just take it and drag it down. And now I have demo style here, and this will be saved so I can use it in any future SketchUp models that I want to. And just like you never want to work with shadows on, you never want to work with any of these special styles on. So I'm just back in my Working View tab, which just means that I am um, on a default construction documentation style. But say this was a completely different model, I wanted to go back to the styles I'd saved before. All I need to do is go to this little flyout menu say open or create a collection, then I'm going to my SketchUp Styles folder, and I say OK, and suddenly here they all are that I can pick that demo style again. So any of you that have hung around me for a little while know that I really push this site called Form Fonts. So Form Fonts has lots of different models or what we call components, lots of images, which um, in SketchUp we think of as textures or materials. But what a lot of people also don't know is that they also have SketchUp styles. I'm just going to look at these top downloads here. So there are lots of styles that other people have already created here, which you can quickly import into your SketchUp model. And how you're going to do that is first you're going to save the style in that same folder as we worked on before. So if I click on this fine line graphic sketch, which I particularly like, I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to say Save As. And I'm going to go back to my SketchUp file folder. Uh, I've already actually saved this here, so if I try to save it, it's going to tell me that it already exists. But for you, you'll just be able to save it. And then when you go back to your SketchUp model, again, I'm just going back to my SketchUp styles. And you'll see all these ones that have FF in front of them have our ones that came from um, form fonts. And I can just click on that fine line graphic sketch. And um, back to the same problem that uh, the great lines are here, the colors aren't. I'm just going to go to Edit. Again, I'm on the second tab, the Face tab. 
I'm going to put the materials back on. And I actually really like how this looks. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to hit the little plus sign again. I actually changed the name to Fine Line Graphic Sketch 2, which is difficult to see. Um, so I'm going to rename this Fine Line with Materials. And I'm going to update it. Then I'm going to open up the secondary pane again down here. I'm going to go back to the Select tab. For some reason, it didn't save my name. Let's try to find line with materials. Let's try to save that again. There's fine line with materials, and all I need to do is drag and drop that down in my SketchUp styles. And now that is here to use forever. So I really like how um, the style is looking now, so I just want to add the shadows back to it and save this kind of as my final view to show my client. So I'm going to go back to view, I'm going to turn on the shadows, give SketchUp a minute to think about that, and there they are. I also don't want to see these axis lines, so again I don't want to view them. Back in the view um, menu at the top, I'm going to uncheck axes, and now I want to save this as a scene. So I'm going to go to Window Scenes, hit the little plus button, and it's going to make a scene, automatically rename it Scene 4. I'm going to think about that for a second. And I'm going to rename this, um, I'm just going to call this Final View, and make sure that I hit the Update button. Getting in a small part of my SketchUp Bootcamp class, a practical SketchUp training class designed for interior architects and designers. This course offers a thorough background in the SketchUp tools and techniques most important to design professionals creating interiors. The aim of this e-learning course is to systematically teach you a progression of tools so you understand how to quickly and efficiently integrate SketchUp into your workflow. There's eight hours of video that you can access at your own pace and as often as you like. To learn more, Go to my website, seedd.com, to the classes page.